Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I posted a picture after my intro, and um, I've been sitting on this picture for a while. Um, this picture was taken while I was watching the NHL Now show, and um, it was EJ's thoughts on what the team, uh, what the New Jersey Devils organization currently has and what they don't have. And um, they talked about it, and this was, this was before the trade deadline, so you'll see Blake Holman's name on there. Just basically talking, because I think Dino was on that day too, and they were talking about what the team is lacking and what they could possibly do during the trade deadline to bolster their, uh, their prospect pool going into the next season and seasons ahead of time. So um, I thought it was very interesting. I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while. I figure now is a good time too, since... I don't know what's going to happen with the regular season. You know, there's talk of them just going straight into the playoffs. So, in that case, there, there should be a... I think they're going to do some sort of a draft. But, um, you know, every day things are changing. So, I just figured, let me do a video now about this. So, let's go into it. They First, they did the halves. Elite young players. Of course, it's he, he sure and Hughes. Um, and Hughes can be still a prospect. You know, it's his first year. So... He could still be a prospect, but I have him in elite uh, young players, and that's where they had him as well. Uh, promising prospects. Now, the picture shows promising deep prospects, so I figured let me just do all of the uh, promising prospects that we have in our pipeline. Um, after the trade, you know, with the trade deadline that we just passed, we acquired Nolan Foote, Yanni Kokonen, and then, you know, they have Ty Smith, Kevin Ball, Riley Walsh. And Riley Walsh is an interesting one because... Um, he didn't elect to sign his ELC. He's playing his senior year at Harvard, so this has a lot of Devil fans thinking, you know, is he going to do the same route that, you know, what happened with Butcher and Kerfoot, where they'll play out their senior year, then become a free agent, and they can go anywhere they choose. So hopefully it's not the case because he's a promising right-handed defenseman. We'll see what happens with that. Sometimes players just want to finish out, you know, their college, um, college earned their degree. Now, instead of doing it later, could be a possibility. You know, that happened with Coleman. Then after he finished, he signed with us. So we had instances where they left. We had instances where they ended up signing with us. So we'll see what happens with this. Hopefully he stays because he's, he's a very promising defensive prospect. Tice Thompson. Now, he's a big name that's been shooting up our prospect ranks. He's having a great year. And, um, you know, he's looking like a promising uh, player that, that we drafted. Uh, yes, for Boquist, uh, Arn Talvidi. And I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to see what he has to offer because... I've been following him for the last couple of years, and he's just a point machine. I've seen him play on the um, the Finnish team, look good on that, playing with Kalko, and um, I liked I liked how he played. He was one of those gritty players. He put a point, smart player, and he was the captain. So I'm I'm highly looking to see what this kid can do when he has a full camp, and if he can earn a spot. Uh, Graham Clark was a good draft choice, and uh, Fabian Zetterlin's another one. And there's still other ones there, but these are the ones that I had on my list. Valuable Vets, you know, Palmieri's on the list. They had Coleman, but he's not with us anymore. So I guess I put Zajac, Subban, Severson, and Wood, kind of our veterans that we've had on this team for a little bit, besides Subban. Um, possible picks this year, we have three possible first-round picks. And um, two were conditional, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know what they're going to do as far as, you know, how they're going to dictate what happens with those conditional picks. Are we going to get them this year? Are we going to get them next year? So we'll see what happens with that. Then what this organization doesn't have and what we need. A starting goaltender and depth. And this season has played out pretty well for Blackwood. Um, Start off a little bit slow, but he's been picking up as well as of the last couple of games. Um... Came a couple of wins shy of breaking Marty's record. And he looks very promising for us in net for the next couple of years. And um, he's definitely earning uh, uh, definitely earning our number one starting position. And um, I like what he has to offer. He's great. And I love his interviews. He's very... He doesn't give those, you know, those answers that all the typical players do. The ones they study and have to say. He talks straight from his head. And I like the way he answers questions. I really do. And he seems like a good team guy and a good character kid. So I like him as our starting goaltender going forward. Definitely going to get have to need another um, what's going to happen with the backup. I did a video on Corey Schneider. I'll link it at the end of the video. I don't think Corey Schneider might be back. I thought he might. But now they're talking about this whole compliance buyout where they're giving each team one compliance buyout. So um, I have a feeling that they might use it on Corey. So can they look for another 
um, UFA goaltender out there. We'll see what happens. Um, significant prospect pool. And, um, you know, I think this happened before our, our trade, the trade deadline, like I mentioned before. So I think our prospect pool has picked up a lot, you know, getting, getting foot, Koken and ball really helps out our, our, uh, our prospects. So I like what they have. I like the prospects that I mentioned earlier. There's still a couple of other names that are there that we don't know what's going to happen with, but, um, I think we're definitely on the rise and I th I like what Tom Fitzgerald did to, uh, to acquire two more. I like what Ray Shiro did to get ball. So I like the way our prospects are heading. Got to add some more, though. Uh, elite number one defenseman, and I totally agree with what EJ said with this. We definitely need an elite number one defenseman. Haven't had it for a long time. And um, this team really lacks it. We have a, a couple of good defensemen. But, you know, losing Vaughn and Hurt. Um, losing Green, I don't know if he's going to come back. Sign like a one-year deal or if he'll stay somewhere, stay on the island for now. I don't know. So our defense is going to be a number one question mark that they have to address after they pick up a goaltender if it's not Schneider. Additional top six wingers. And this is another one that I, you know, when I played hockey, I, I always look at the offense. And um, this team desperately needs some wingers. They really do. You know, Palmieri is here. You know, hopefully he resigns to, they sign him to a longer term deal because we're really lacking in our forwards. We have a lot of young forwards who... Sometimes they play well, sometimes they don't play well. You know, you have Brad who looks promising at times. Sometimes he takes a night off and gets a healthy scratch. You know, you have Zaka who transitions from wing to center. You don't know what if he's a true winger, a true center, but I kind of like where he is with um, Gusev and Brad. I like that line. But, um, you know, you have a lot of question marks on the wingers, and hopefully they definitely address that this offseason. There's a couple of good names out there, and I'll do another video on that in the coming weeks. Um about what I think they should address going further with uh, forwards and defense. So that's my next video on the Devils coming up. Uh, depth throughout the organization. And this is a question mark to me. I think they have a lot of names, but they're not names that you say, okay, their prospect pool is fantastic. We have a lot of names that are hit or miss. You know, what's going to happen with... Um, I like Anderson, but what happens with him? McMurkley, I like what he added in his couple of games up. Unfortunately, he had the eye injury... Got sent down after that. But I like, he's like a pit bull on the ice, and I like that kid. Uh, Gil Sen, you have Mike McLeod, you have um, Nathan Bastion, you have Studenich, you have Sini, Colton White. So you have a lot of names that can fill in, but it's not a lot of names where you look at and you're like, okay, Devils have a really great prospect pool. So what happens with these names going further? I don't know. But, um, you know, they're definitely good plug in players. I like what Anderson offers, I like what Merkley showed. Um, McLeod still, you know, going up and down, gets called up, doesn't play, or sometimes, but he did, has been getting better this year, I have to admit that. You know, Bastion, we haven't seen since last year, Student Niche, he still hasn't get, getting called up, seeing he's been up and down, and Colton White, I, I kind of like what he showed this year coming up for a couple of games, so maybe we see him in the future, who knows. And GM head coach, and that's the biggest question marks heading into the offseason, is Fitzgerald here to stay? Or are they looking for another GM? Is Nazardine here to stay? Or are they looking for another head coach? I think they are, but you know we'll see what happens with this uh, going into the offseason. So I wanted to do this video on what the Devils have currently in their system and what they don't have. Comment below. Let me know what you guys and girls think. Do you think? Um, what do you think is the biggest question mark that we have heading into the offseason? Um, comment below. Let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. Please like. Helps the video grow when you like it and you subscribe to the channel. Um, join our hockey team and please be safe out there. Okay. Thank you all. Have a great night and a great day tomorrow. Take care.